Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a new series. So this series is on the Mass and the reason why I am doing this is because sometimes as Catholics we can sometimes just see the Mass as just a daily, weekly schedule but in fact the Mass is so much more than that. It's something so significant and something so beautiful and so what I wish to do is break down the Mass, um, explain each part of the Mass from the introductory rite to the concluding rite, explaining uh, the words of the priest, the words that we say in response and just you know explain to you guys the importance of each part of the mass and the biblical roots of um of each part of the mass but before we get into that this episode is just going to be a very brief introduction on the mass because before we get into all of that we need to actually understand you know what the mass is for us and so to start the mass is the christian act of worship that started from um, the early apostles and so what it is it's it's the celebration of the eucharist and so the word eucharist comes from the greek word eucharistia which means thanksgiving so in other words the mass is a celebration of thanksgiving the thanksgiving of the death and resurrection of jesus christ the Catechism of the Catholic Church has defined the Eucharist as something so beautiful. So it's basically said that the Eucharist is the efficacious sign and sublime cause of that communion in the divine life and that unity of the people of God by which the Church is kept in being. It is the culmination both of God's action sanctifying the world in Christ and of the worship men offer to Christ and through him to the Father in the Holy Spirit. Saint John Paul II also says that the saving mystery of Jesus' death and resurrection is concentrated in the gift of the Eucharist. So we now know that the Eucharist is the center of the Mass. So what I'm going to now do is explain to you three different ways in which we can look at the Eucharist and this these ways that we look at the Eucharist will become the foundation um, of our understanding of the Mass. So the first way to look at the Mass and the Eucharist is the Mass as a sacrifice. So first of all the Catholic Church comes from the Jewish tradition and so in the Jewish tradition we read about um, in lambs being sacrificed, you know, the, um, the, blood, the body and blood being separated and the blood being poured out, you know. And so whilst in the Jewish tradition, a lamb was being sacrificed, in the mass, another sacrifice takes place, a real sacrifice is taking place. And that is the sacrifice of Jesus. And so one thing that we need to remember is that we are not sacrificing Jesus again but the sacrifice that Jesus made that was already made is being made re-present in um, in the mass so in other words the sacrifice that was made 2000 years ago in a bloody manner is made present again in an unbloody in an unbloody manner in, um, in the in the celebration of the Eucharist in the mass so Jesus himself says you know this is my body and this is my blood which will be poured out for many and so this itself gives a very sacrificial tone and um, Jesus is basically when he says that is anticipating the sacrifice that he's going to make for the whole of humanity so just to sum that up the mass represents the sacrifice of Christ on Mount Calvary however in Mount Calvary the sacrifice was in a bloody manner but in the celebration of the holy mass the sacrifice is present to us in an unbloody manner this leads on to the next point the real presence of jesus in the eucharist in the mass and so we've heard many times that jesus is present in the poor he's present in the scriptures he's present in the sacraments but Jesus is uniquely present in the Eucharist. Why? Because Jesus in the Eucharist is present body, blood, soul and divinity. So the Catechism of the Catholic Church basically says 
that Christ, God and man, makes himself holy and entirely present. So when we are in the mass and the priest says, you know, he holds the bread and says, this is my body. And then he holds the chalice, which has wine and says, this is my blood. What we need to know is that this body and this blood, this bread and this wine becomes the body of Christ, becomes the blood of Christ. Whilst the bread still tastes like bread and looks like bread and why the whilst the wine um, tastes like wine and looks like wine, the substance of it has changed. So the substance of the bread has become the body of Christ and the substance of the wine has become the blood of Christ. And so what we call this is transubstantiation. So to look at this from a biblical perspective, Jesus himself has explained and shown the importance of receiving him in the Eucharist. In John chapter 6, verses 53 to 56, it says, Truly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. So what Jesus is saying there is that his presence, his body and blood in the celebration of the Eucharist is a central aspect for our life of eternity, for our spiritual lives. Whenever you go to a Catholic church, you will notice that there's always, there's a tabernacle right behind the altar. And in that tabernacle is the presence of Christ. And so what we need to remember is that Jesus does not just desire for us to be, to, for us to consume him in the Eucharist, but he also requires, he also desires um, a presence, he desires to have his presence made known to us at all times, which is why he is there in the tabernacle. His presence is always there in the church. And when we, uh, whenever we enter the church, we always genuflect in front of um, the, uh, the tabernacle because we are in holy ground. We are in front of our Lord. And so one thing that we need to remember is that through the Eucharist, God's presence is alive and active in the church. So whenever you go to a church, remember this, you are not just going to an ordinary building, you know, with just the people in there, but you're going to a place of holiness. You are stepping into holy ground because Jesus is dwelling there in the tabernacle. The third important part of the Eucharist um, that we need to remember when we look into the mass is the part of Holy Communion. In the Jewish Passover, the sacrifice wasn't just the only important part of the whole entire uh, celebration, but it was also consuming the lamb, consuming the flesh of the lamb. Because what this does did was it sealed the covenant between the people, or between the Hebrews and God. And so Jesus is the new Passover lamb. He is the new lamb that was to be sacrificed. And so in the mass, when we consume Jesus, this becomes the climax of the celebration because Jesus is that new Passover lamb which we consume. And from then on, he becomes part of our lives physically. He becomes, he goes, he's in our bodies physically. And what, that, what happens then is that our body becomes a living, a living tabernacle of God and that's why it's so important that once we receive communion we are in a state of prayer once we receive communion our minds should be completely focused on God because now we contain Jesus in our bodies so in holy communion that is the opportunity for us to hand over Jesus all our desires all our burdens all our anxieties because Jesus is not just someone, you know, far off in heaven, but he's not someone that's intimate with us. So this part of the Mass, the Holy Communion, is a stage of intimacy between us and Jesus. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. I really hope you enjoyed that. And, um, you know, I pray that, you know, by the end of these 
see the series that you will you know, start to really love the mass and you know that you won't you know if you are seeing it as just a weekly thing that you don't see it like that anymore but you see it as something so beautiful so important in our lives and um yeah i hope you look forward to uh listening to the and uh, watching the rest of the series until next time take care god bless Thank you.